What's up with everybody? It's your boy, Tex God. You already know I'm a referee to the truth and I'm a coach to positivity. And I believe with those two things working in unison, baby, there is no situation or circumstance we can't overcome or conquer. Let's go ahead and get into some of these hot topics today. Okay, now I wanted to, uh, I wanted to go ahead and speak to Tasha K. Uh, I know she's getting a lot of flack, a lot of subliminal flack from uh, Brother Polite talking about everybody just dropping the stories you know what i mean they want to drop the negative stuff they never called me for positive interviews or any positive stories or any positive things that i was doing uh you saying they putting out mis mis misinformation uh what's crazy is that woman simply just read the charges that woman just simply read the charges. She had she had nothing to do with slandering this man's name or defecating it of his character. These are alleged charges that she she read off. You know what I'm saying? These are public records. Anybody can get, you know what I'm saying, get public records, man. Jail records are public records. Anything, any charges that you had, they can go look it up. And they and they can read those charges off, man. That's just what the charges say, man. Look, so I don't I don't understand what he's saying. He's saying he's uh He's grew up and, and and become more mature in this situation. If I was if I was Tasha K, baby, go get you go get you a bottle of your finest wine. I don't know what you drink, Marlo, Chardonnay, Pinot Grigio, Moscato, uh, or any other wines that that's out there. You know what I'm saying? Go get you a nice bottle of that. Get you a cold glass and fill it up, baby. And as he's as he's saying right now, get your popcorn and enjoy the show um, that we're all finna watch unfold. I do got a clip, man. I wanted to break down this clip. This is another clip from this brother he's released. Um, he's talking about he don't want to talk about the charges, but he's talking around it. And I want you guys to hear this because I believe that he's saying some very valuable key things um, in, these, in these videos that he's been putting out. Um, and I'm sure his legal team is like, man, shut the fuck up. Please just shut the fuck up, Mr. Polite. Dr. Polite, uh, Brother Polite, whatever it is, whatever it is you to those people, man. Your defense team right now is, is squirming in their seats like this motherfucker just keep talking around it. Because I don't know if you guys know or not, your defense team don't even want you talking around the situation. They probably would love to hear you say that you're not guilty besides the things that you're doing right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and roll this clip, man, and I'm going to go ahead and break down what I believe to be uh, some... some <laughs> some pretty some pretty incriminating statements from this guy uh i think he really needs to shut up because all that money that he's paying these top-notch lawyers this this top-notch defense team uh could go for the wayside uh if he continues to open and run his mouth like this so let's go ahead and run this clip one day every car rented what the hell is he doing shit i'm renting all these cars every day god damn you gotta factor in that money is the money real that money look like it's too large the money count is fake and it's counting fake money he bought a fake money counting money with the money. Yeah. yeah, listen. The reality is this. The point of the matter is this. I got everything I ever wanted. If a person's walking on planet Earth content and really can say, yo, I did the impossible before they killed me or did something to me, before this existence made me a statistic, I accomplished everything that's important to me. The ability for my family to exist comfortably with or without me. To be able to hire my own people, to be able to employ over a hundred fucking people. Wavering, it makes you say, this is fake. No, this is an illusion. And I accomplished everything in this illusion before this illusion should consume me. So what is it that you can take from me that hasn't already been initiated? Nothing can be taken from me right now, nothing. Because I did everything I sought out to do and I accomplished it. Like Denzel Washington said, it, it took 20 years for him to become an overnight success. It took me 38 damn years. But really three, it took me three years. But I had to exist for 38. It took me three years to accomplish. Now, this is Text God TV. Here we preach and we teach hope, not dope. We try to inspire and motivate as many hope dealers as possible and try to rid the world as many dope dealers as we can. Uh, please, Black Kings, we need y'all on this side of the fence. We got young kings and queens we have to help. They need our help out here. They need our advice and they need our guidance. So please come on over to the side of the fence, man. Promise is much greener. Hey, look, <clears throat> after listening to that clip, man, 
I know his lawyers are squirming in their seat, brother. I mean, he, he listen to the context in which he speaks. He's speaking in past tense. Everything that he's accomplished. He's still talking about money, but one thing rings true that he keeps talking about is that he feels like his life is complete. So even if he goes to jail, he said, I accomplished everything I ever wanted. Past tense. He said, before this life killed me, before this existence killed me, or put me in jail, or shut me up, or basically, which is the, the now, he said, I, want, I got to do everything I ever wanted. That's, that sounds like defeat to me. That sounds like defeat to me. This, this sounds like very incriminating statements that he's making. And then in the, in the second clip, he went on to say, what did he say, how he put it? He said, the illusion. He said he got to uh, accomplish and do everything he wanted to do within this illusion to take care of his kids, uh, his family, his wife, or whatever it may be, and help people get jobs before the illusion consumed him. That context right there is deadly for you to be speaking of before you have to go uh, in front of a trial, in front of a jury, in front of a judge, in front of a prosecutor, and, and have this trial, man. That context is, is unwavering. <laughs> Lee incriminating. I mean, uh, my advice to you, brother Polite, is shut the fuck up, bro. You're saying a lot of things that can be used against you in court, and you're saying that you grew up and you matured, but you're childish enough to keep playing with people about this serious, this serious accusation, saying that you're not gonna say yay or nay, and uh, I'm gonna let y'all, I'm gonna let y'all go ahead and keep doing your stories, and when it all come out, that's childish. That's being childish. And if you're not going to speak of the situation, why are you speaking around it? You're still incriminating yourself with things that you say. And I'm sure those same lawyers are having a problem with that. Man. Now, with all that said, ladies and gentlemen, hey, look, I wanted to say the best for last tonight at 1015 Eastern time. Uh, I will be going up on Forgotten Kings TV 2.0. I will be joining the panel. We will be discussing Brother Polite. Um, so if you guys want to come over there, you know what I'm saying, and uh, watch us discuss some of these topics, I advise y'all to come on over there. It's going to be a good show. Uh, like I always say, if you was here, that's because you was meant to be here. And if you was meant to be here, one thing I know for sure, that's that's because you care, baby. And if you care, you're going to like, subscribe, and share this on all platforms. Like I said, 1015 tonight, Eastern Time, Forgotten Kings TV 2.0. Come check us out.